Hey everybody, oh boy, sorry it took me a little while to set up, got this on the uh, iPhone now using my iPad for the comments instead, iPhone's got a lot higher quality, but nevertheless, welcome to What Did You Write Today, which is a little Facebook live stream show I like to do every Thursday and Sunday around 11 o'clock, it's me, Steve Whalen, Mr. Jokes, and uh, let's do some writing, today's word is sell. The main reason why I chose this word was because I really want to make a joke out of cell. Cell is very interesting to me, not just because it is a loaded word with many different uses, but it's something that I'm always doing with my comedy where I try to sell, in some cases maybe a little too much. So let's immediately brainstorm some ideas. Sell, people think of money. Buy. In some cases, it's uh, sell material, and that can be a more literal meaning, or that can mean like to overact. What are some other words I think of? I think of like a tough sell. It's like a tough sell. Tough sell. Money material buy. Everything of money, I always think of a dollar sign. I don't know why. I write down everything I think. Material, sell, tough. Feel free to leave a comment on my Facebook if you haven't done so already. Not only do I have to know what I like to hear about your jokes and your opinions, but I just want to make sure everything's going smooth technically. It's a tough sell. Sell, buy. I feel like buy could even get its own main bubble. So often we look at opposites. Got my cheat sheet here. This is all based on the work of um, uh, Shane Holloway. She does this book, The Serious Guide to Joke Writing. Let's see if we can get these ideas out here first. Oh, I know why the ideas aren't coming out. We don't have any music. Let's play some music. This album is called Join by the Hip. It's by Bob James and Kirk Whalem. I hope you enjoy. There we go. Now I'm feeling it. Sell. Let me sell you on it. Present is a funny word in itself. Sell to present. The way you sell yourself. Of course, who sells yourself? The agent. One of my favorite comedy topics. Sell yourself. Get yourself out there. By the way, um, a lot of people have been telling me, which I appreciate, that they find these videos very relaxing or entertaining, and, and uh, they really appreciate them giving them ideas of their own, and of course, I, I really, uh, it's amazing for me to hear that, that the support has been great. Today's the 28th. Oh, I'm such a mess today, I dropped the phone. I dropped the phone. Of course, we have our joke web, our ideas, the joke hospital, which is off screen in the bring back section. And uh, make sure we label those. Some jokes in the joke hospital died the other day, so that's good and that's bad. But hey, that's Tinder. I think part of part of being a selling is being a salesman. 
In some ways, that's kind of like a BS artist. Sell sales money. Stick with me. I always love the idea of like agent double talk and sleazy talk. Seems like we live in a world these days where agents do a lot less than they used to. And to me, it's just very funny the idea of like a sleazy manager. Salesman, artist, BS artist. Material, overact. What are some ways you overact in your material? You smile, laugh at your own jokes. I like where this is going. I think there's going to be a lot of stuff here. What are some ways that I kind of do like a, a arm stretch motion? Think of uh, Glen Gary, Glen Ross, right? The steak knives. Salesman steak knives. Always be closing, right? I sell my material so much, they gave me a set of steak knives. That joke's a little weird. You know what, it is a joke. We'll write it down. That's a bad joke. Want to know who they is? I did something so much that they did. Who is they? I saw a guy who did something so much that they were like, chill out. I think we can get more into sort of like a, 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 a packet. Packet might be a bad word for it, but maybe I'll just write packet will be the subtopic. You sell a comedian with packets. What else do they do? They do phone calls, emails. This is getting a little vague. So you say, like, you know, my agent called and said, oh, you're going to love Steve because he does this, but this thing isn't really that great. So what's the way that he gets to talk that... You're going to love him. He's the best. Sort of like uh, the Seinfeld thing, right? Get that doctor, he's the best.
I sell my jokes so much. Maybe you can't sell them. Or buy. Last two days I worked on the joke hospital. See the joke hospital later, but um, the joke hospitals where jokes that are sort of almost there, but you just kind of need to stare at them for a while. That's where they go. Larry David once wrote masturbation in the joke hospital when he's writing Seinfeld, and the rest is television history. Stretch motion. He overacts. Oh man. Overact. Act. What about underacting? I don't know. Subtlety's not that funny. suffered a herniated blank with an injury. You can injure yourself overacting. There's some ways. Okay. So as I tell a joke, I do that for the punchline. Maybe I'm the only comedian who gets a torn rotator cuff. That's a funny word. Rota rotator cuff. And then maybe I can do some of this crap. Whew. Huh? Next on Kimmel. I'm the, co I'm the only comedian who's ever gotten a torn rotator cuff. I'm the only comedian who's ever gotten... I'm the only comedian who's ever torn his rotator cuff. The only comedian who's ever... I think that's stage ready. So glad you're here with me tonight. Because I was having a very hard time coming up with Cell. Cell is one that I tried to do a couple weeks ago and I couldn't find it. But I think now the pressure of sort of doing this in front of you guys is uh, giving me some more good ideas. What's a tough sell? What are some things that are tough to sell a comedian on? Or like me specifically? You know, I'm a heavy set guy. I'm not really ugly, but it's hard to do ugly jokes. Especially see a lot of ladies at uh, open mics will do jokes about themselves being ugly, but they're actually um, quite attractive, especially by my standards. But um, so I always think that's very tough. Ah, uh, let's see, fat. Something. This is getting a little dark. What would be a tough sell? Well, obviously the toughest sell. Nobody goes to the shows. But I like the idea of some, some bad credentials. Or uh, credits. Like, oh, he's, uh, you know... What are some good credits that people do? People say they were on, you know, Saturday Night Live, or, um, sometimes they'll associate themselves with a venue, write down Conan, put down maybe like the Knitting Factory, love to be on it, one of some other stuff. Oh. Put down knit. 
I'm going to put those guys who do shows at the Knitting Factory on blast. They call it the Knit. What's so hard about saying Ting Factory? Anyway, what are some other credits that people do? SNL Conan, The Daily Show. Basically a late night credit. A lot of them are either show based or they're venue based. So that's why sometimes as a joke credit, I'll do something where I'll say people have somebody bring me up and say, oh, he performs all over Staten Island. And that's funny, but then the host, like, um, the other day I was doing a show and the host goes like, this next guy's up all over Staten Island. He's the best. Like, he, he was, people were, like, excited. He was doing too good of a job being an MC. Oh, the comedy seller. All right. We can name places all day. My agent tells me to sell myself. I love bad agent jokes. Bad agent jokes, not, well, in my case you get both. The only comedian who's ever torn his rotator cuff. Well, you'll be seeing me milking that tomorrow. Music's a little loud. Put a little luggage on top of the bed because I was sitting down in the bed too much in the last episode. Standing up gets all the blood going. I think that's helped me the most in my writing has been the fact that I have to stand 100% of the time or, or a lot more than sitting. Sitting reminded me of other things. But enough of that. Let's, let's fill some more ideas. So when you buy something, it's like a transaction. Credit. Now, a visa can also mean a passport. I'm the only comedian who has to haggle the clubs for less time. I think I did that one before. I'll put that on the bring back. The only comedian with a bad credit score. I'm sure there's plenty of those. One of my favorite jokes, or one of my best received, is uh, my 401k is a 401 lolk thanks bye. So I kind of want something like that, something snappy. Wow, the overact motion. High energy. Act out. Clown. Silly. I got a good feeling today, folks. I got a good feeling. Money. PayPal, Venmo. Some other ways you buy with cash, money, transaction, out of money. My agent calls a club. My agent is screening my calls.
Something funny about phone calls. Nobody ever does them anymore. But maybe that could be funny too about a text. My agent sends me texts. My agent has a auto reply. Oh god, texting jokes. New phone, who's this? staring my agent tells me to get myself out there mostly when I'm in his office my agent tells me to get myself out there my agent told me to get out there especially when I'm in his office that jokes too that's very gentle in general is a good one. There's some words that are so loaded, like out, that they might be, that they're good to think about. Sell yourself. Maybe the cheat sheet will help us find some stuff. Potter sound like a phone. Oh, yeah. Of course, merch. How could we forget merch? Shirt, CD, clothes. What are some funny? What are some funny clothes that would make for merch? Like a headband or a? I already had a joke about a sleep mask. My merch, my merch sales have been through the roof since I started selling earplugs, since I started selling sleep masks. See, sleep masks has the word sleep in it.
I also wrote down snooze real quick because I had an idea about, sorry, I'm picking up my pants, wearing some more dignified uh, clothing this week. People were made fun of my pajamas last week. Snooze button. See an alarm clock. My agent's phone, my my agent's, uh, my agent's phone has a snooze button. A lot of phones have snooze options when they people sleep, when they wake up. It's a beautiful song. Um, all right, let's. My agent's phone, call waiting, joke waiting. What are some funny things about a phone? My agent's not very hip, he's got a rotary phone, people. I love bad technology jokes. The only comedian who's ever torn is a rotator cuff. Overact material high energy. You know what, I'll write this down. I've had this riff a couple times. Or somebody, you know, or I, I, this is a riff on a riff, so let's write it down. I do a joke, and then I do a riff, and then I've had people say, like, oh, they, that's how the sausage gets made. And I'll say, yeah, that joke was 99% joke byproducts. So this is a, this is a riff on a riff. This is riffception. Maybe I can say that during crowd work. This is raw. This is how the sausage is made. That's my favorite part of doing crowd work is doing nothing. This is raw, folks. This is how the sausage gets made. Oh, that's it. That's a good way to eat time. <laughs> oh, when you write it down and when you're not saying it, it almost looks funny. mistake there. When I write a joke, always make sure to write it out fully. Like instead of 99, it's, it's you know, not 99, not 99 percent time, you go 99 percent. Let's get a look at some of the comments, if any. Had a lot of commenters last time, and that was very cool. I really appreciated it. Oh, boy. Thank God for cases. That's what my mother would say. Had she lived. Do we got any comments going? Wow, we got some good ones. Hard sell. What's happening? Shake the pen. Thank you, Sandy. You'll see that. Homework hotline. 
Sell weed. Thanks, Nick. Good pen shaking. Matt Nadestep wants to know what I'm listening to. I'm listening to an album by Bob James and Kirk Whalem called uh, Joined at the Hip. I highly recommend it. Shake the pen. You guys are really funny. My agent told me I had to sell myself to another agent. That, that's a good one. Thanks, Perry. My agent tells me to get out of here, so he bought me a ticket to Abu Dhabi. That's sort of similar to my Merce have been through years since I started selling shingles. Okay. Riffception. Talk about kraut work. Oh, Charles. Charles, you know me. Talk about kraut work. Man, Charles, how are you? Charles is one up in all you comedians. Shake the pen. Ooh. Kraut work. That's good, Charles. You know, I'm going to write that down. <laughs> you want to talk about kraut work. Crowd work, more like kraut work. I'm going to make it a more like joke. Charles knows I studied at more like university. See why all you comedians were thinking, making fun of my pen shaking. Charles came up with a very clever joke. We all could learn from Charles. Tough sell. What was it? Buy sell. Yeah. Okay. Motion. Crowd work. More like kraut work. Damn you, Charles. All right. He was using the punter sound alike. All right. Packet. Phone calls. Uh, let's see. Haggle. I write it. I haggle for less time. I get paid per the minute. So let's think about ways that people can get paid money. We can power through this. I don't really like songs that have lyrics. And that's one thing I don't like about this album is it has one song with lyrics and the rest of it is instrumental. But you know what? I'll suffer. Paid the way that... Uh, Let's see. Paid in full. Never for a comedian. Not paid. By the minute. By the joke. By the laugh. This needs to be a larger idea. Paid. See, I had the thing. I, I pay my agent 10% of everything I make, so at the end of the month, I gotta give him a Diet Pepsi. That joke is pretty hot and cold, so to speak. Herniated disc. I think I had something where it was like, I haven't been paid in a while. The last gig I had paid in $2 bills, but that's just, that's too much. I have to be careful with these jokes that get so cerebral. My audiences are stupid is what I'm saying. My agent told me to sell myself to another agent. See, that's a great joke, Matt. That, the structure is very strong. Norm MacDonald always said the best kind of joke is one that has the exact same beginning and the exact same end. And that's a very similar beginning end. It's sold to a bidder. Bitter to me sounds like bitter. Also sounds like the word quitter. 
of course, bit. I'm the comedian who puts the bit in bitter. I wonder if Andy Kindler said that. I know he has an album called um, I Wish I Was Bitter. Which is good. I recommend checking it out. One of my favorites. Probably my favorite living comic. Uh, let's see. I'm dying up here, speaking of living. That's always a very funny... I'm dying up here. I used to have a bit, I'm dying up here, and I point to an attractive lady, can I get some mouth to mouth? It got a huge laugh once, never again, so I think that might go either to the joke hospital or just a very early death. Put that in the joke hospital. Oh boy, these pants. Should have stuck with my ratty ones. dying up here. You know, it's amazing. You write some of these jokes, and then the other day I did a show, and I was doing crowd work, and I said, what do you do for a living? He said, I'm an electrician, and I just went, Sigh. and that got a huge laugh with any joke, just me sighing. But hey, I'll take it. Clowns wear silly hats. All right, let's pitch the way you, a comedian pitches themselves, like a pitchman. Oh, forgive me. I'm dying up here, Squirtle. Present yourself. To try to dress me up. Sell yourself. My agent's trying to sell me on Overstock.com. My agent's trying to sell me as a... My agent's trying to sell me on Overstock. What are the way things are sold? Boy, we're getting so many great ideas from this. They're sold 50% off. They're sold as is. No refunds. A lot of my gigs pay in experience. The best part, the worst part about that, non-refundable. Oh. That was a joke that's come and gone. There's no hope for that one. waiting. Okay, I still like that idea of an agent not taking my phone calls. Woo! This album's got some bite, baby. It's a jazz album with an attitude. The joke was 99% joke byproducts. Crowd work, more like kraut work. Charles, I'm proud of you. All right, let's see what we got. Oh.
Overschlock. I always like the idea of, of meeting my agent in a funny way, where I haven't quite gotten that down yet, where I said, my agent told me he was a media distributor when I met him, he was passing out AM New York, which to me is very funny. That's gotten 50-50, so then I'll say, what is this, a metro crowd? And then even less laughter. But I also have the idea, you know, never trust a guy you met passing out AM New York, and then never trust a guy you met collecting cans. Ugh. So many ideas, so little uh, laughs. My agent's got me on slow dial, like speed dial. My agent's got me on slow dial. My agent's got me on career waiting. Call waiting. My, I called up my agent, he said, new phone, who dis? New phone, who's this? I already do a who is this joke that's been very good to me. Autocorrect jokes are a bit hack, even though I don't really tell one. I could probably get away with one, but they're very hack, even for me. Whenever I step into my agent's office, he tells me to get myself out there. My agent tells me to sell, my, sell yourself short. I asked my agent if he's selling me short. He said, I'm selling you any way I can. Spider-Man. Ugh. Sal sounds like the word smell. Okay, there's some stuff in here we're not quite seeing. We're hitting a wall, but we can pull through it.
Okay, this mm, uh, this is a little close. My agent's trying to get me a career on. Uh, my agent's trying to get me a show on Amazon Layaway. That that yeah. Andy Kindler does a great joke. I have a new show on Amazon Prime. It's called 12 New 5 Used. God, what a great joke. That's why I thought it might be a little close. I think he also does some comedian, or some people get a show on Amazon Prime. I have a show on FedEx Ground or whatever. But I, that's trying to get me a career on Amazon Layaway. I don't know. That's probably too close. Whatever. It's not. Oh, good save. Overact, underrated, sell weed. My buddy Nick's always got the ideas flowing with the weed. Yeah. Reserved. He's just trying to get me, a, not a career, a show. Clown energy hat. My pitch packet. See, nobody knows, the comedians don't, or maybe a website. The website redirects to somewhere. My website redirects to Yahoo. To to Yahoo. Yahoo. I can't get a show on Amazon Prime. I'm lucky if I can get a show on Amazon Layaway. My jokes are see, I, I have, my jokes are rapid fire. My audiences are rapid tired. Can't make fun of even any audience too much because then they start to put themselves in their shoes. It's tough. That's why if you make fun of an audience, it would be like, oh, I did an audience in Staten Island. Ah. Ah. Call waiting, screen, text, speed dial, it goes to me. You can literally buy jokes, and you can return. 
comparing them if they're these jokes I bought were defective. There's got to be a couple more in here. Oh, wow. We had so much fun. We're up to the second and last song. All right, we got to start making some moves. Bob James is white and Kirk Whalum's black. You think when they were making this song was a little... Uh, we'll do a song about the ghetto. I know what that's like. All right, wasting too much time. Maybe a sit down in order. Oh boy, this was a loaded topic. Agents got me on slow dial. My agent texts my clubs. I have to write a postcard to my wish you were here is the punchline.
My agent's got a voice changer. I'm sure I could think of a few more. Amazon layaway. Nevertheless, I do a lot like the, the under the leg thing. Maybe I can work on that. It's rotator cuff. At least I move around. At least I'm getting some exercise. Some comedians get booked at clubs that's standing room only. Mine is leaving room only. Leaving room only. I was on last comic stand. I was on last audience member leaving. I was on first audience member leaving. My stand up was featured on first audience member leaving. On last comic stand. My stand-up wasn't on Last Comic Standing, it was on First Audience Leaving. There we go. Alright, that's kind of... It wasn't on Thing, it was on another thing.
bitter. I put the bit in bitter. But I try not to be too bitter. I try to be a bit more affable lately, because if I go mean, the audience reciprocates the energy. 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 I'm getting some energy. Write that down. Just write down energy. It's unrelated, baby. My website redirects to Yahoo. What are some like, Google, Yahoo, GeoCities, Bing? My agent's trying to bing me. <laughs> you can only find my website on Bing. Oh, God. Will that get so many laughs that I'll kill myself after I say that? My career's not going well. You can only find my website on Bing. My website is a Bing exclusive. <clears throat> Why are you just trying to get me a show on Bing? People like the joke where it's like, my jokes are killing on Google+. Plus. My jokes are killing on Google+. Plus. I actually have an exclusive show on Bing. Oh, was that it? Alright, we'll, we'll figure out that Bing joke, then we'll take a quick look at the... Notes, and then if I have any other final thoughts. But let's just get this rocking. Okay. My career's not going well. Uh, you can only find my website on Bing. You see, not Google. Maybe, you know. Adam Levine tells that joke. You can only find my website on Bing. Oh. Bing there, done that. Bing the Merciless. Just write down Bing. Bing is funny. Oh boy. Berniated disc. All right, let's go. Lots of words on the board. Yes, Sean. Okay. What do you? That joke might be a little long, but that's fine. Yes, the it's a great album, Joe Duffy. Yes, uh, Bob James Kirk Whalem joined the hip. One of my favorites. My agent is like my self-esteem. Something something. Autocorrect jokes are hacky, but I don't duck and care. Okay, Perry. You can only donate blood. Okay, I like that. Boy, a lot of you guys... You guys love the pen. Something shingles. Riffception. I guess I'll write down Riffception, Charles, if you like it. Charles helps me work on a show called The Special Without Brett Davis, so I'll get you a little drink next time I see you. A little Powerade. Perniated disc. Okay. Um, okay. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing this every Sunday and Thursday. One last shake of the old pen. I'm out of bright pens. i got to buy some more. Uh... That's it for today. Our word was sell. We'll take one last little quick look around uh, the place. And I'll be saying goodbye. Gotta say, though, I really appreciate that you stuck around and watched. 
Okay. Sure, sure. All right. So this was sell. We had a lot of words today. And I hope you also enjoyed the quality. Wow, four viewers, huh? So here we go. I sell my jokes so much they gave me a set of steak knives. I'm the only comedian who's ever torn his rotator cuff, which I like. My merch sales have gone through the roof since I started selling sleep masks, slash earplugs, whatever's funnier. And then when I'm doing crowd work, I say, this is raw, folks. This is how the sausage is made. That joke was 99% joke byproducts. And then crowd work, more like kraut work. Thanks to Charles on that one. My agent's trying to get me a show on Amazon Layaway, but I think I'm going to also write down, I can't afford to do a show on Amazon Prime. I have to do a show on Amazon Layaway. And then what was this one? My stand-up. Uh, wasn't on Last Comic Standing, was on First Audience Leaving. My career is not going well. You can only find my website on Bing, which I like. Uh, and then let's see, the bringbacks. Reception is not really a bringback. That should be somewhere else. Um, but anyway, the Twitter. Uh, that joke is, I bought Twitter followers and they returned the money. That'll be fleshed out. Um, I'm the only comic who haggles for less time. My agent makes 10% of everything I make, so i got to make him a Diet Pepsi. And then the reception. Prepare to see my face. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks again so much. Today's word was sell. I love this crowd. And um, every Thursday, Sunday, 11 p.m., check me out. Steve Whalen, MrJokes.com. S-T-E-V-E-W-H-A-L-E-N-M-R-J-O-K-E-S.com. Steve Whalen, MrJokes on Instagram. I love this crowd. What did you write today?